Well, how's it going guys? Welcome back to another trout fishing adventure in the mountains. Absolutely beautiful today. And I'm um, hiking into a little lake that I've never been to before, but I've heard it's pretty good. It's about a mile hike, give or take. And I've been hiking for probably a quarter mile now, so still got a little ways to go, but hopefully it works out. If this lake doesn't work out, I've got a couple others in mind. And uh, yeah, hopefully we catch some fish today. Hopefully you guys enjoy. Oh my goodness. We should be arriving shortly. I feel like it's just gonna be over this hill. Hopefully, I've been hiking for a minute. It's probably just right around this little turnaround right here. Oh gosh. Oh my gosh. Dude, holy cow. You guys see that? Oh my gosh. That scared me half to death. There was a big bull elk just sitting right down there. Oh man, I just heard him crash through the trees and I about had a heart attack. A big bull elk just scared him right off the trail. A little tip for you guys if you plan on doing hiking in the backcountry like this. It's not a bad idea to make noise and uh, let any kind of animals up on the trail know that you're coming. Bears especially, because the last thing you want to do is, I mean, that was an elk, so that wasn't too big of a deal, but if that was a bear, who knows, man, who knows, especially a bear with a cub. Oh, you guys, there's an elk right in the trail. Two of them, two of them. There they go. Oh my goodness. A whole herd of them. Can you guys hear that? There's like a group of half a dozen elk right on that hillside right there. Looks like they were bedded down in that little area right there. There's a little grass and shade area. And they just scurried up that little hillside right there. Holy cow, guys. We haven't even casted a line and it's already been an eventful day. Oh, check that out, guys. Check that out. We've got a horseshoe right on the trail. Now, if that isn't good luck, I don't know what is. Sweet, well, we'll keep this with us today and see if it brings us any luck. We should be coming up on this place pretty soon. I feel, I think I've been hiking for way longer than one mile. Oh, I see water. I see water. Oh, check that out. We made it. We made it. What a beautiful lake. Oh my goodness. So I've just been walking around the shoreline and I'm looking for a little bit deeper spot to fish because for the most part, all I've seen, it's just really, really shallow and weedy as far out as I can see. And I haven't seen any fish yet, so. But I'm just looking for like one deeper spot. One deeper spot there where there's not as many weeds because uh, I think that's gonna be where the fish are stacked up. Oh my goodness, check that out. I thought that was a log, but now it's just a giant bone. Dang, looks like we got a little log jam here. And if you guys watch my videos, you'll know that I've caught a lot of brook trout out of log jams like this. For whatever reason, brook trout are just drawn to big log jams like this. Oh my gosh, there's one right there. There's a fish right there. All right guys, I've spotted the first fish of the day. It was a big one too. I just saw like half its body move underneath this log. And I've got just an old night crawler on, just a plain worm and a hook. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna toss it in right there. He's right there, he's right there, he's right there. Oh my gosh, that is a big fish. That is a big fish and he totally ignored my worm. Holy cow. Oh my goodness, I think it was a 
brook. There's one. There's another one. That's a nice one. Holy cow, what is that? Eat it, eat the worm. Come on, eat the worm, eat the worm. Eat the worm. When they don't want a worm, you know they're smart. Like, he's looking at it, but he's not, he knows something's up. Well, I'm just gonna walk around this little log jam and just dip my worm underneath these logs. See what decides to come out and play. It is kind of difficult to get around. There's no trail, there's no real trail around this lake. You just kind of have to bushwhack it. All right, come down here. Oh, a fish just jumped right over there. All right, so we got a little creek that comes in right here, bringing fresh water to the lake. Usually, fish will just stack up right at the mouths of these creeks, getting all that fresh oxygen. There's fish in this little pool right here. There's fish in this little pool. There's a little guy right there. Let's see if I can get him. Toss my worm in. Oh, he's going over to it. He's going over to it. Come on, little guy. Come on. Gosh dang, man. There's a little, I don't even know what that is. What is that little guy? Looks like a little uh, cutthroat. Cutthroat or a brook trout, I can't tell. They are too smart to eat this worm though. Ooh, what do we have back here? Oh, this looks interesting. We got a little pond above the pond. It's part of this creek. What in the world? Check that out. So we got like a little spring right here and we've got this other little pond that dumps into the main lake. There's a fish, there's a fish, there's a fish. And there are fish in there. Just saw one. I'm gonna toss my worm in and just let her sink. Oh, oh, he's got it, he's got it, he's got it, he's got it, he's got it. Fish has it, fish has it. Got him, got him. Heck yeah. Toss right in there, get a fish. Check it, yep, it's a little cutthroat. That is a cutthroat trout. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, sweet. Look at that, that's a beautiful Colorado River cutthroat trout. Nice. That is one gorgeous fish. I am definitely gonna keep some fish today, but a beautiful native cutthroat like this and its first fish of the day, we're just gonna let him go. Oh, and there he goes. There he goes into that beautiful crystal clear water. Let's get another worm on the hook here. I'm using worms, by the way. I know a lot of you guys are probably judging me because it's uh, using worms is too easy, right? Well, people have been using bait for fishing since the beginning of time, so I don't really think it's that big of a deal. And I brought these worms up just in case the fishing was bad, but uh, it's so warm out here today. If I don't use these worms, they're gonna go bad, so <sighs> might as well. Oh, I can see fish down there. I can see three right there in front of me. Three, no giants, but He's got it, he's got it, oh, oh, he's got it, he's got it, he's got it. Eat it, oh, he's got it, oh, shoot. He took half my worm, <laughs> he took half of it. Oh, got him, got him, got him. Now that's just a little guy. That is just a little guy, flip him over. Nice, nice, just a little guy. Beautiful little fish. We're gonna get him back quick. Check that out. Got a little grasshopper on my fishing pole here. <laughs> he just crawled right up on there. We're gonna try using this guy's bait. All right, so I got a worm and a grasshopper on there. Let's see if they like it. So here's the spring where all the water comes in, I imagine, because there's no inlets. It's just a crystal clear, cold water spring and it just runs down here into this pond and then out to the main lake. Oh, 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 big one, big one. Oh, got him, got him. That's a big one. That's a big one. 
That is the nicest one so far. Watched him come up and eat it. Come here, come here. Holy cow, that's a giant. And got him, got him. Whew. Man, look at that. Look at that. It does not get much better than that. Wild native cutthroat out of this little pond. That's unreal. Get out of here. Nice. Oh, got him. I watched him come up and eat that too. Got some following him behind him. Ooh, what in the heck? This one looks a little different. What is this? What is this? Is this just a cut? Yeah, it's just a cut. This one has a little bit different color pattern on him. This one looks a little bit different. Just got more spots on her. It's probably a female. Get her back. <laughs> Heck yeah. Got him. Got him. That's just a little guy. We'll just get him off here real quick. Come on. I want one of those five pounders to come up. These little guys are fun. I'll catch these all day, but I'm looking for one of them big ones. All right, guys, I'm going to move on from that spot. Caught a handful of nice fish, but uh, I'm just going to keep exploring around this lake, see if there's anything else interesting. Well, guys, I fished all around this lake and didn't see one fish, at least in the main lake. We did catch those fish up in that little pond, but I don't know, the main lake didn't see a single fish. I think it's just way too weedy. All the weeds are up high, and I bet all those fish are just down on the bottom, weaving in and out of the weeds. So it's kind of impossible to fish. But I think I'm gonna follow the little outlet, this little stream, and see if it leads to another little pond. Well guys, we may have a problem. I think I'm lost. <sighs> I kind of went off the trail and followed that little stream to see if it led to another pond. And uh, well, the trail kind of faded, faded and I just kept walking. And now, not really sure where I'm at. <laughs> I mean, I've got a pretty good sense of direction. So I've got a good idea of where I'm at. But uh, the problem is, it's just so thick and foresty that I can't even really walk anywhere. And I also don't have a GPS or service, so I think we'll be all right though. This isn't the first time I've been lost. I just need to find water. If I can find running water, I'll just follow that right back up to the lake. Check that out, guys. Check it out. Water. I knew it. Found the stream. Here's the little stream, and here's a couple little ponds. <sighs> See, guys, sometimes going off the trail can yield results. Is it recommended? No. Can it be dangerous? Sometimes. But, me, I have superhuman power, so I should be good. So right off the bat, this pond looks pretty shallow. I'm not sure if there's gonna be any fish right there. Even if most of the pond is shallow, if there's just one deep hole where the fish can stack up at in winter, there can be populations of fish. You know what, it actually looks fairly deep out there. It does look deep enough to hold fish. I'm also seeing a lot of like little water insects. And usually if there's water insects, there's usually fish too, because 
you know, that's a food source and there's usually fish that come along with that. Well guys, although this spot looks good, like there's plenty of water, I have not seen a fish and I have not gotten a bite. There's only so much time left in the day, so I better find the trail and head to my next spot. Guys, check this out. Another little pond right by the other pond we were just fishing. I'm just following this little stream and it's leading to these little beaver dam ponds right here. Let's see, can I see any fish? Oh, yep, there's one right there. There's a, oh, yep guys. Yep, fish confirmed. Try to get on top of him without spooking him. I'm just gonna toss this little worm out there. Come on. I did see one. He's kind of disappeared now. I do not where, know where he went, but. Oh. And guys, check it out. We got another little pond. <laughs> this is like the fifth pond I've seen. It's just one after the other. Just little beaver ponds. Whew. Holy cow. Look at this. This is just absolutely beautiful. Okay, there's gotta be fish in this pond. It's crystal clear. This looks like the deepest one I've seen too. I'm gonna toss my worm out there and just let it sink. Oh, oh, got him, got him, got him. One just came right out from under that log. I knew it. I knew there's gonna be fish in here. <laughs> Heck yeah, get out of there, get out of there. Come here. Yes, guys, another cutthroat out of this little random, literally just some random pond deep, deep in the mountains. I've been going off the trail for a couple hours now and uh, I'm literally just finding these little random ponds and we're catching fish, baby. Look at that, nice fat cutty. Man, I do need to keep one for dinner. I do need to keep one, but Man, I still want to fish for a little while longer and I don't want him to go bad. Oh. There we go. Ooh, this is a pretty one. Look at that. I just can't believe how beautiful their colors are up here with that bright red jaw. Oh. There he goes. There he goes. Oh, do I have a fish? Oh yeah, I got one, guys. I got one. Oh, shoot. Oh, I got him. I got him. Got him. I let my worm sit out there for a second. And I guess he was taking drag without me knowing. Look at that. He's just coming right to me. That is one beautiful fish. I just can't get over these. How beautiful they are. And you know what guys? This fish, I think we're gonna keep him because uh, he did swallow it a little bit, which is totally fine. I mean, I've been planning on keeping one anyway. Yeah, so I think this is a good one to keep. And I just heard thunder. So we're gonna have to get on the trail here really soon because I don't want to get caught out here in a rainstorm. Well guys, finally found the trail. It took about an hour to get back to my vehicle, but we made it. And uh, I've stopped off at this beautiful pond right here. And uh, we're gonna see if we can catch some brook trout because there's brook trout in here. But before we do that, I'm getting hungry. I'm getting weary. I've done a lot of hiking today and I haven't really eaten anything. So we're gonna get to cooking that cutthroat trout we caught so we can get a little bit of energy in us. And then we'll get to fishing. As for seasonings, I'm gonna use some Timber Ridge Rubs 
wings and things. This is made by a subscriber. I've used a couple of the other seasonings in the past on my channel. Um, and he sent me another one to try. It's supposed to be a little bit spicy, I think. So I'm just going to season with this. Alright guys, there we go. Fish is done cooking and we're going to go ahead and sample it out here with the wings and things seasoning. Get a good bite here. Ooh. That fish is good. The seasoning's good, but just that fish all on its own. That is good. Good, good, good. Yeah, that seasoning definitely has a kick. I can definitely feel it, but it's good. It is really good. Yeah, I'm gonna leave a link to where you guys can get this. Um, like I said, made by a subscriber. He sent me three of his different seasonings and we've tried them all and they've all been really good, so. That is so good. I've been hiking for probably over two hours, it feels like. Actually, over two hours for sure. And I have worked up quite the appetite. In fact, I probably should have kept at least one more of those fish because this is going to be gone pretty quick. <sighs> all right. All right. So this lake is kind of like that last lake, meaning there's just tons of weeds out in the center. But this little area right here in front of me is fairly clear and fairly deep. So I'm going to toss around this little brook trout rapala and, uh, you know, brook trout are cannibals. So we'll see if we can't hook into one. One just swiped at it. I just saw one swipe at it. Oh, they're down there. They're down there. Oh, there was one. Oh, shoot. How the heck does a fish get off when I've got two treble hooks on there? He just smacked it and he did not get hooked. Oh, there was one, there's one, there's one, there's one. Got him, got him, got him, got him. Finally, I actually just switched to a worm because I wasn't getting anything on those lures. So I finally just tied on a worm. Got him. Nice. That ups our species total today to two. That is a good looking fish right there. You think they're pretty now? Well, they are pretty now, but in the fall when they spawn, this guy's gonna turn a deep, deep red orange color. Nice little brook trout. Toss them back. They're probably just stacked up right here in these logs. It's actually pretty deep and they got cover. Oh, 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 got him. That's a nice, oh shoot, shoot. That was a nice one. That was the nicest one. I'm just dropping it right here in these logs, letting it slowly sink down to the bottom. And uh, that guy came out and grabbed it without hesitation. So, oh, there's another one, there's another one. He's got it, got him, got him. Oh, little guy, little guy. Get over here, get over here, get over here, get over here. Oh, this is just a baby. We can just get him off quick. Come here. There we go. Second little brook trout from this spot. Okay. See you later, buddy. Go grow to be 10 pounds. Well, guys, I'm going to head out of here. 
Uh, I felt a few raindrops and I've been hearing some thunder. So, so I'm just gonna get out of here before it starts pouring. But I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Just goes to show you that if you go off the trail, you're bound to find something interesting. If you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. I would really appreciate it. But other than that, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you next time.